Today on My RC Life. I'm resurrecting a blast from the past, the HPI Savage Flux 2350, and testing out a gearing change I made to the new kit on the block, the Techno MT410. Good morning, everybody. Tracks is Mike from My RC Life. It's a blistering cold, one or two degrees out right now. I'm over here at my parents' house. Look at this winter wonderland. We got like a good foot of snow here in the last few days. Okay, we got the techno, of course. And this thing has only been on my channel once or twice. Um, it was my old HPI Savage Flux. Um, this was my first high powered vehicle I've ever had. Um, anyways, when it was featured on the channel, it only had a 4S hobby wing in it had the crappy old Savage tires and lug nuts on it, which if you know uh, HPI Savages, the lug nut system sucks. Well, I got these hex extenders and it converted it to a big honking lug nut, like an X-Max style lug nut, the big 17 millimeter lug nut. And I also installed my old X-Max VXL 8S ESC onto the old girl. I had it sitting around because I got the big 200 amp ESC on my X-Maxes now. So why not uh, put this thing to use, right? It can run on up to 8S. Right now, I just got two 3S's in it, so we're going to run it on 6S. And of course, I had a few extra receivers around for this bad girl. So we paired it up to there. So yeah, two trucks, one controller. I love it. It's just it's just awesome, you know. Okay, we got our steering the wrong way. So we need to fix that, first of all. Settings, reverse, steering, bam. Okay, there we go. Seems underpowered. wondering if the ESC is in practice mode. Blink, okay, now that is sport mode. Let's see if it's got any more power. Showing voltage. I think it's because my batteries are so cold. I had these batteries in the back of the truck. I'm assuming that's why, because I know they're not dead. 
All right, guys, we're gonna take care of this. Cause I got a couple batteries in the front here that are not cold and they're also 4S batteries. <laughs> Let's put these in her. Okay guys, now we got 8S. Oh, we got some power back now, boy. Holy cow. This thing is crazy now, boy. I wish my wheelie bar wasn't broke because that would uh, let me do some crazy backflips. The body's pretty rough on this old girl. I had this way before I learned how to protect the insides of the bodies with the uh, Gorilla Tape or the shoe goo. It's cold out here guys, even just walking, that light bit of wind hitting my face is just stinging. Hmm, I wonder how hard these snow banks are. Oh, definitely hard enough for an RC car to go up. Oh, even just getting uh, that much cold on the batteries right there, it went into shutdown mode. Oh, look how deep this is, guys. Almost over my boot. My boot's gotta be 16 inches tall. Yes, back to full power again. <laughs> like I said, this body's pretty beat up. Wheelies with ease, man. <laughs> Didn't make her too far. Trying to warm up those lipos a bit so they don't shut the ESC down in a 50% mode where I make a lot of demand. Ah.
It's in 50% mode, but it's hard to tell. Cause it still has tons of juice. switch over to the tech now I've geared this up just a little bit I want to see how much uh, difference it makes out here in the snow the motor still has tons of power and it just gets right the top rpm just like that but there's some more wheel speed that's for sure
Can't even really get any jumps off today, guys. Can't even really get many jumps off today because the snow is so powdery. It's not thick and packy like it was in some of my prior videos. So every time I hit one of these jumps, it sinks down and loses so much speed. It's really hard to get a good jump off. So maybe here in a few days, if we get a little warmer weather and this stuff packs down, compresses a bit, we'll be able to come back out and do another video and get some jumps off. But this was really about testing out my Savage and uh, testing out the gearing on the Techno MT410 to see uh, how much difference it made. So the 8S Savage is kicking butt. The Techno, it definitely gave it more top end speed, but it could definitely handle a lot more too. The motor doesn't even bog. Um, I think I went from a 14 to a 17 tooth pinion. So that's three gear, three teeth different and it isn't even phasing it. So I know I can bump up to a 20, 21, 22 probably. I don't know how high of a tooth count I can go on this without having fitment issues with the motor mount, but I know it could take a handful more teeth. And then we can always go down teeth on the uh, spur gear as well. So, All right, guys, that's it for now here in blistering cold, snowy Northern Michigan. I'm Traxxas Mike from my RC life and I'll see you later. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a question, comment or suggestion below.